Tom Kelly back again as the Red Fox's kicker's coach. And Tom, talk about the group that you have here this year. It seems like kickers and punters are always a close-knit bunch, and it really seems like this one is no exception. I think it comes from being in so many close games over the years. The kickers and punters know what's at stake and uh, brings the group closer together. Even though there's competition, they pull for each other. They make each other better. Uh, Kevin Pauly as a senior has improved as a punter every year he's been here. And Jason Myers, a junior place kicker, has an excellent leg, but he's also improved ever since he's been here. Younger kickers, Jesse Cigna, a sophomore, and Ryan Carr, the freshman, are also very accurate and they have very strong legs. I know Jesse improved a tremendous amount last year, expecting to continue that. And helping out with the snapping all through practice is Jeff Magliacetti. He's a big help with the snaps to the holders and to the punters. Now let's talk a little bit more about Kevin, who is a fifth-year senior, entering his fourth season as the team's punter. And he tied for the longest punt in program history last year, but also very good at his directional kicking as well. Yeah, he's pinned a lot of opponents inside the 20. It really helps us a lot. And his first year, he also holds the school record for field goals, uh, longest one at 47 yards, which he reminds us of every now and then. So uh, very strong leg. But he's matured also as a person. He's one of the most mature people I've ever seen, just the way he carries himself. He's quite an example for the younger players. And talking about Jason Myers, someone else who has a very strong leg. Last year, he led the Pioneer Football League in touchbacks. Tell me about his leg and tell me about the things he's going to be looking to build on from year two to year three. Yeah, Jason's also improved. Uh, he puts a lot of pressure on himself, as they all do, but he's learned not to let a bad kick get him down, and he tends to shrug it off, and he kicks the next one really well. He'll continue to improve both as a kicker and you know, his maturity. And one final question, just talk about the kicking game from the, the mental aspect of it. That I know that a lot of it goes into it physically, but what do you have to do to mentally stay sharp as a kicker or a punter? I think you can't let a kick beat you twice. If something goes wrong, you have to always look forward to the next kick. Uh, I think as a coach, there's a lot of pressure. Uh, I felt for the past couple of years I had the best kickers in the country. I feel that way today, I'll feel that way tomorrow, so I put a lot of pressure on myself. Try not to overcoach them, but help when I can. And hopefully we'll be able to win some close games this year. Tom Kelly, thanks very much, and best of luck to you and the kickers this year. Thank you.